John Barry, it's always fun to uh, meet somebody <laughs> while tape's rolling, and that's what yeah. we're doing. I can't yeah, believe we've never met. Yeah, you'd think we'd met somewhere along the totally along all the years we both have been in this town. Yeah, I, we were. I'll tell you what, man, the '90s that was a special yeah. time in Nashville country radio music. Yeah, we were probably both so busy we could probably remember highlights, and that's about all. <laughs> <laughs> it was a busy time, wasn't it? That's, it was a busy time, and it was a. For a while there, I, f- I always feel like, John, There, it was so wide open, such a diversity of voices and yours. Man, it was a standout. I mean, there are certain voices, they sing one phrase, and it's like, oh, wow, that's unique, and that's you, man. Oh, that's, that's all very kind of you. I appreciate that. That's you. And yes, it's great. I wanted to talk to you, obviously, because of your music. But man, you've got a story. I mean, your story, especially for the thing we talk about on this podcast, which is uh, it's interesting lives, right, that have taken yeah. interesting twists and turns and how people have navigated that. And yours just speaks of such resilience. Even how you started, it's, I love that we're, we're doing this around the time of the 40th anniversary of your first independent album yeah. that you made on your own, no label deal. I love yeah. that. Yeah, a couple guys in the basement and not having a clue as to what we were doing. <laughs> Matter of fact, we thought that if the meters moved too much, there was too much noise on the side. We had no idea that we were supposed to saturate those, you know, to load them up as much as we could. So you're not even close to the red. Oh, no. No, no we want to stay far away from the red. So <laughs> That's yeah. that's precious, we, man. We, were, we, we recorded it on a uh, Tascam uh, wow. 3440 four-track. Wow. We would record four tracks, and then we'd mix it down to two, and then pick up that tape and put it on totally. there and record two more tracks. So Dude, we record six tracks. I love that so much. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're talking to a lot of creatives <laughs> out there, and it's an amazing thing, right, with the tools that people have. That if oh, we were yeah. our age now, or if the age we started now, I mean, the tools that are available to you are oh. just... We built a little studio in the basement of my parents' house. My dad helped us do it. Oh. That's where we recorded it. Matter of fact, it wasn't uh. too long ago. I was going through some boxes. Um, we've, we've moved a million times. Mm. And I have boxes that have not been opened in years. And I started throwing them away without opening them. Wow. I said, if, they, if they've been, if I've lived this long without it. Right. And this one particular box, I said, I don't know. So I opened it up. And there was the sign that hung above the basement door. It says the basement that oh I had made gosh. out of a piece of wood. I carved it out with a router, you know? Wow. And so it's hanging up in my shop. So, <laughs> oh, that is, so that's amazing. I that one away. So. 